It's time for another episode brought to you by Jackson Nautilus Gaming. Oh, are, are we doing this blind? Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. We are playing this blind and we are in the Giovanni... Giovanni? Giovanni, there we are. The Giovanni Mansion. As, as a kid when I was growing up, um, I played Pokemon, you know, blue and red. Uh, the original Pokemon series, and uh, there's a gentleman in there, his name is Giovanni. But my kid brain told me, oh, it's 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 pronounced Giovanni. Um, so since then, I've always pronounced that name, Giovanni. Uh, but obviously, that is Italian, and apparently it is pronounced Giovanni. Which actually makes a lot more sense. Anyway, that is beside the point. So, uh, yeah, last time we got to the Giovanni Mansion. Uh, I went up here. I listened to this door between videos just to see what the heck he's talking about. They have the Incarn sarcophagus, and they know that it's something big. Apparently, the um, the best known, uh, most renowned, the, the best of the best in the family here in America... They are in the process of preparing to uh, to devour the souls within the sarcophagus, which apparently they believe came from a time of the pharaohs in Egypt. So we're gonna go stop that from happening. <laughs> so we're gonna come down here where we got showed some cool stuff. Get some presents on here. There we go. You know, I could eat her. I'm going. C can I? Can I feed? Her? Oh, no, she's too freaked out by it. That's interesting. Well, it looks like the dead aren't responding. At least as far as I'm aware. Nope. All right. Uh, well, we're looking for the sarcophagus. I'm getting about halfway down in my blood, which is a, a bummer, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. So here we are. Hmm. So that's a way to fall just in general, but we don't want to do that. If I recall, the cage doors are opening here. Apparently they're not opening at all this time. That's interesting. All right, here we go. Yeah, let's go down. So, my guess is this is a puzzle of some sort, or or, or this is nothing. Okay, well that's cool. Yeah, they seem kind of broken, don't they? Hmm. Yeah, they're not moving. I, th I think that, I think the game broke. <laughs> I mean, that's okay. I don't mind. Right. All right, it's dead. Going. There we go. Not breaking anymore. Hi. And it's like to step here. And it's like to step here. That's right. Let's go this way. What is over here? This appears to be a tomb of some sort. This might actually be where the sarcophagus is held, but I can't get into it. Hmm. Oh, 
nothing lets me in. That's lame. Oh, hang on. I think we're gonna save here. Oh, no, go back. Hello? Hey! More zombies! Zombie, zombie, zombie. <laughs> they explode, it's kind of funny. Well, that doesn't open up. Let's keep. Oh, okay, we're just gonna load some more. Got it. Alright, this looks foreboding. Yep. Kindred, your presence here violates the agreement between our leaders. Leave now or face the consequences of your actions. Hey. I was going to say, they, they appear to be, um, um, oh gosh, what are they called? The stupid wire foo stuff. Oh, wire foo. Okay, okay. I, I get what they're talking about. They're talking about, like, the Matrix-style thing where you get put on wires and jump around the room. All right, um, let's discuss this problem, whatever it may be. There is an alliance between your leader, LaCroix, and Mistress Ming Zhao. You violate the agreement. If you do not leave, we are not responsible for your death. Now I'm confused. Okay. <laughs> I've got to get a publicist. I love that. Um, what alliance? What are you talking about? We'll give you one more chance to leave this place and keep your life. You will go? Um, nobody tells me what to do. Actually, a lot to, but here's where I get even. <laughs> Double dragon refugees? Oh, oh, the devs. Oh, the devs. I've got my mission. I will stay. The time for decisions has passed. We Chang brothers accept your life graciously. Oh. Chang. Sorry, but you won't get it. Someone sounds really tired. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey. No. Hey, that was mean. Let's jump down here. Oh, Blade Brother, Claw Brother, got gotcha. it. Man, that presence is amazing. What are you guys doing? No! You guys need to go down. There you go, there's one. You can't stop me. I'm here on a mission from God! I'm kidding, I don't have the cool enough sunglasses to be on a mission from God. Alright! You are down. You guys are done. Finished. Man, I feel awesome. Haha. -ha. What's up here? Oh, it's just the top. Well, let's look around real quick. I mean, I've got the sarcophagus. Don't open it, is what uh, I was told by the Oracle. So I have a really funny feeling that I'm going to end up opening it. <laughs> uh. Oh, these are new tiger's claws. Let's see. 24 damage potential. Nope, nope, way more damage otherwise. Um, they even deal aggravated damage. Whoa, okay, all right, hang on a second. That 
Dang it! Why did I do that? It's okay. <laughs> um, aggravated damage sounds really awesome, but this broadsword is so bloody good. All right, let's go ahead and save, and we're going to approach this sarcophagus. It, am I really just going to lift it up and carry it? Yeah, I guess so. What is that? It's got some feathers in the end. That's kind of cool. Hey, I got it! It's a good thing I had a truck nearby, apparently. I love how the Giovannis don't even, like, notice this happening. <laughs> I just go out front, drop it in a truck right in the front of the yard, and move on. Okay, I feel like things are about to get very, 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 very complicated. Oh! Hey, Beckett! In the Croix. Hmm. Hmm. Boop. <laughs> Definitely want to save it here. Oh, I completely forgot one time I was playing. Um. Uh, hang on. Okay, just a second here. Okay, I think we're estimating about 10 minutes so far. I will keep that in mind. Hey, Beckett! 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 Oh, why, why, why can't you talk, Beckett? Why, why no talkies? But I want to talk to you. You're my favorite friend in the whole wide world. All right, fine. How about you? All right, that's cool. Hi, LaCroix. My wunderkind returns. In my entire court, I knew there was only one who could have succeeded in this task. Finally, the Ankaran sarcophagus is ours. Come. I've granted Beckett's request to study and document all the markings of the sarcophagus. You've met Beckett, haven't you? I have. Let's go take a look inside and see what the commotion around the city has really been all about. Before we do that, I need an answer. Are you in an alliance with the Quijin? What? Preposterous. No kindred would trust them, nor would they trust us. Did Jack tell you that? Because it sounds like you've been taken for a fool. I was told by the Quijin agents sent to steal a sarcophagus. And you believed them? They've been trying to take over L.A. for years. It's a ruse, a falsehood, spread to undermine my rule and turn kindred against each other, thin our ranks. They are duplicitous, evil creatures. Did they not try to kill you? Oh, LaCroix, you two-faced son of a bitch. They had no reason to lie. I was going to die. They intended to murder me. I mean, there is a possibility they were spitting that just to get me to leave. But I don't think so. I don't think they would come up with that on their own. No, the Ching brothers were not... They were not lying. They were telling me what they were told and what they understood. So unless there was an extremely elaborate lie set up... Uh, uh, by um, Ming, then mm, yes, but insurance. They lied to you in case you lived through the encounter. They hoped to create dissension in the ranks. Rumors. It's a trick older than you or I. <laughs> Look at him trying to convince me. I still don't know what to believe. Let's open the sarcophagus. Wait. I could say that I don't believe him. Oh, but if I do that, I will have issues. I am inside his haven and he has the freaking... Well, what's his name? I can't remember what he's called. The, the dude behind him. The... Oh gosh, what is his name? The sheriff. There we are. He has the sheriff with him. I still don't know what to believe. Let's open the sarcophagus. This is not going to be good, is it? Oh no, my what jacket freaked out. So far. Unfortunately for the Heralds of Doom, it appears we won't be opening Pandora's box. No. Oh. The markings, as far as I can tell, are of Assyrian origin. An extraordinary piece, but nothing earth-shattering. I see. 
then there is no good reason why we shouldn't open it. Huh. <laughs> Budge. Beckett, do you see any mechanism for the lid? I haven't as yet had a chance to pour over it with my fine tooth comb. I think I have one in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> why won't it? Why won't it open, Beckett? And you? I thought you said it looked as if it had been opened on the Dane. I want it open. It's because you, it's only open Beckett, from the inside. Figure out a way to open it. I need to know what's inside. I have other matters to attend to. Come get me when a solution has been found. <laughs> ah, the depths to which I'll sink to prove others wrong. The young ones get so temperamental. Fortunately for Sebastian, is it? I'd already made up my mind to open the sarcophagus. If only to show the city that Gehenna, contrary to popular belief, has not begun. Uh, okay. Um... <laughs> hmm. I, I see what he means. Basically, he wouldn't be doing this unless it's, uh, you know, of a design to show that he's right and they're all wrong. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm falling now. Uh, Beckett, you spin words so easily. Um, let's see. What do you think's inside? Put your ear to it. I'll shake it. And you tell me what you think's inside. Ooh, it's like a present on Christmas Day. I love it. Not Christmas Day. The day before Christmas, when you're just trying to take stock of the presents under the tree. Is there a sarcophagus a present under the tree, Beckett? Hmm. All right. Stupid question. How do we open it? Hmm. Fortunately for us, I know of someone who has distinguished himself in this field. The ability to open a box? Okay. That's cool. <laughs> Who? His name is Dr. Anders Johansson, a professor of archaeology from Norway. He was the one responsible for finding the sarcophagus, and as far as I know, the only authority on its origin and design. Oh yeah, he was at the museum. Where can I find him? Until yesterday, he could have been found in his suite at the Empire Hotel downtown. But when I stopped by earlier this evening... All I found was spilt coffee on a morning paper. It appears he's been abducted. Of course he's been abducted. You know, <laughs> the plot line of this game regarding the sarcophagus is just so, it's so straightforward. But everything is so complicated. All right. Um, yeah, exactly. Damn it. Why does everything have to be so difficult? Where's the fun without complications? Oh, Beckett. Thanks for putting things into perspective for me. Where is he? I detected the scent of myrrh incense, which is usually oh, burned gosh. in monasteries. Also, I found beach sand in part of a muddy footprint. Putting two and two together, I located a monastery near a beach in Malibu, where I believe hunters are holding Johansson captive. Okay. That you figured all that out from sniffing around his room. Actually, there were two hunters on the roof of the building opposite the hotel who were positively delighted to tell me everything they knew. Provided I stopped dangling them head first over the side. <laughs> oh, Beckett. Oh, Beckett. He's such a Beckett. Hunters have this guy. What would hunters want with an archaeologist? The hunters abducted Dr. Johansson for his own protection. Or at least that's how they've justified it. He's being held by the Society of Leopold and used, quite ingeniously, as bait for Prince LaCroix's minions. Oh, good, great. The Society of Leopold? That does not sound good. Ah, uh, the Society of Leopold? Sebastian mentioned you ran into one of the hunters from the Society of Leopold some time ago. They're so secret a church organization, I don't even think they know if they exist. Mm. But essentially, they're murderers for Christ, or some such deity. Gotcha. Oh, Bach, from, um, uh, Grout, from Grout's Mansion. 
Oh, yeah, hey, that storyline hasn't been resolved, has it? The whole thing where we saw Nine showing up and then we went and Grout was already dead, but it wasn't the hunter? Hmm, I forgot about that plot point. And Nines isn't back yet. Ugh. Hmm. So how do we get him out? You'll have to go to the monastery and find a way into the tunnels beneath where the hunters are holding Johansson. I'm afraid I can't accompany you, but then it's best you go alone. Too many of us might set them off, like fundamentalists on contrary opinion. <laughs> Yes, okay. Uh, you're not going? It's not that I don't love walking into the heart of danger to curry favor with the local magistrate of the hour. But actually, that's exactly it. <laughs> I'd rather not get involved in the politics of it. Besides, I'd better document the sarcophagus before Sebastian's goon smashes it open. How do we get there? I wouldn't recommend walking. Certainly Sebastian's already provided cab fare. I'm sure he always spares no expense when archaeology is at stake. You got that right. I have a few questions before I go. Excellent. Anything else you can tell me about the Society of Leopold? The Society, for the most part knows very little about us but they do know how to kill and torture us and that's enough yeah i understand also some of them exhibit powers that can make them quite formidable best not to announce yourself but what how how what do you mean by powers um you spoke of gehenna before think the sarcophagus is part of it well if we open it up and the world ends then yes ah if we open it up and the world does not end then no. Ah! I'd wager the latter. Good! Glad to hear it! I'm so glad that this is such a... Uh, such a black and white concept here. I love binary choices. Well, I guess they're not binary choices. They're binary possibilities. Hmm. Have you learned anything else about the Thin Bloods? How any sane kindred could think these poor unfortunates are an immediate threat to us is absurd. Most were afraid, or at the very least uneasy, around me. Tragic. Their desperation could very well hold the spark of revolution, however. Okay. I see. So they're talking about the end of the world with all the thin bloods because they could rise up and destroy the the society that vampires have built all this time with the kindred interesting tell me about yourself beckett hmm i've said quite a lot about myself already i know even less about you than you do me why don't you tell me about yourself ooh this is new I appreciate your interest in me. I'm fascinated by you. Then I'll let you in on a little secret. Beckett may not be the name I was born with. Oh. Events always seem to unfold wherever I go. Like Chicago a few years ago. Oh, it's a bother to explain. Either I'm pursuing fate, or it's got a bone to pick with me. Unless you've got further questions, I'd really like to get back to looking at the sarcophagus. I got experience point for that. Yay. Um excellent. Remember, Dr. Johansson is an innocent. He has no idea we actually exist. Try not to put the idea in his head. I guess. Bag it. Bag it. I wouldn't recommend walking. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Um, remember, Doctor. Right. Okay. There's nothing else to say here. Oh boy. Oh boy. What are you guys wiggling for over there? 
Don't wiggle. Let's save. And let's go talky talk. And then I need to go get something to eat because my blood is way too low. Oh, I can't talk to him. Hi, Sebastian LaCroix. Did you find a way to open the sarcophagus? Oh my gosh, no, I haven't. Getting the sarcophagus back was quite an expensive ordeal. I can't have my protege looking plebeian, can I? You'll find I can be very generous towards those who serve me well. Great. Ooh, 500 bucks. Oh, <laughs> Did I mention I had to slink through sewers? Chinatown? Fight to Zimisi? Point made. Thanks. I had a question. Which is... What do you know about the Kuei Jin? Traditionally, the Kuei Jin has stayed in Asian territory and the kindred Europe and later North America. But recently, they invaded the West Coast, killing off a substantial number of Anarchs. They lack the organization of the Camarilla and think nothing of breaking the masquerade. Though we share similar traits, there is no fraternity between us. We embrace. They rise from the grave. They do not know the pleasure of blood. They are without clan. No, yes, they believe our kind to be inferior. They are as much of a threat as the wolves. Hmm, but... But they did wipe out the Anarchs in San Francisco, from what I understand. Which means, diplomatically, they're ideal for allying with. Which does once again support what the Kuei Jin were talking about with the sarcophagus at the Giovanni Mansion. Hmm. LaCroix. Wolves? Werewolves. I can still recall a time when cities were surrounded by miles of forests full of the beasts. But progress has taken care of that problem. Fancy. Which is. What do you think's inside the sarcophagus? If you didn't take the time to ask, perhaps we'd know by now. As I mentioned before, my concern is that it pertains something supernatural. Now, Beckett has waved this theory altogether. The city is alight with dread. Perhaps it's an antediluvian. Uh-huh, antediluvian. Maybe it's something from a long, long time ago. A joke. The antediluvians are the mythical progenitors of each of the clans for whom they trace their bloodlines. And according to mythology, descendants of Cain, the legendary first vampire. Uh. As in the biblical Cain and Abel? Before you put too much stock in it, realize that the church and all of its mythos are blends of kindred and mortal meddling, whips to regulate weak minds. This is all Beckett's field of expertise. If you want a lesson, merely ask him. Okay. Well, thanks, LaCroix, for your little bit of information. Um can't say I'm gonna miss you. Hey, Chunk! Sorry, no one's loud up right now. Oh, okay, that's fine. Alright, so we have a couple things to do before we finish off this video. Um, one of those things is to go visit Pisha and turn in the last item we were looking for. Let's go visit her now. See you guys there. Hello, Pisha! Yes. Here's that book you were looking for. The Voce del Morte. The Giovanni never willingly share their secrets, and I've had little success infiltrating their strongholds. How did you obtain this? Oh, so maybe it is the Giovanni, but they keep calling themselves the Giovanni. Is that just the Italian style of saying it? Okay, well maybe my kid self was right. All this time. Either that or all the English speakers are completely wrong about it. Anyway, um... They were a little distracted, so I was able to slip in under the radar. It will take some time to translate and unlock the secrets of this. I will have to move on from this city to evade any Giovanni seeking it. Take this. This will complete the terms we agreed to, and I think it is adequate compensation. It is the key of Alamut. It instills mm. dread in those that would harm you, and makes it Ooh. harder for them to strike you. Make nice. no mistake, our dealings do not make us allies. If indeed we meet again, do not ask me for any favors. I will give you this final advice, however. Leave this city. These are its final nights. Discord looms heavy. 
I've felt this before. What do you mean? In November of 1938, I was translating documents in Leipzig, Germany, written by a purported Crusades-era necromancer. There also, I felt a sense of impending chaos. Soon after was the Kristallnacht, the wellspring of a new world war. Oh, okay. So you say this, this, the last few nights of the city, what you mean is of its tentative peacefulness. Not that there's any peace here, but you know what I mean. It, the things are about to go chaotic. I see. I'll take that into consideration. Goodbye. Pisha, you're so interesting, and yet all you got moved to is um, just a quest giver. Take my advice. Leave the city before it comes crashing down around you. Such a bummer. Kind of wish we got a little more information with her. Um, Key of Elamum. These ones have been carried by the feared assassins of Clan Asamite. Asamity? As Asamite. For millennia, no one has said that in game. I don't know what this actually is pronounced. Uh, one of only a handful still in existence. This key of Alamut gives its owner extraordinary resilience damage. Increases all soak ratings by one. Holy crap! Jeez. All right. Well, that's amazing. Wow. All right, I'm up to fourteen. This. Should I? No. I'll hold on to some experience points for a while. All right. Well, that's pretty freaking awesome. All right. Um, let's uh, let's head over to the last. Oops. To the last round. And uh, see what's going on there. Because I'm sure Jack has something to say. Because that was a major story. Um, story event, I guess would be the word. Yeah. So I'll see you guys over there. Hey, Jack. It just keeps getting more interesting, doesn't it, kiddo? Giovanni, the Quay Jin, lots of blood being spilled for a 10,000-year-old conversation piece, would you say? Um... How did you hear about that? The streets, the hillsides, there's eyes and ears everywhere. Yeah, Jack, but... How do you have this network? What are you? I see. LaCroix has a sarcophagus. I heard LaCroix has been talking to Beckett, too. Beckett's a skeptic about all this stuff. I just hope he knows to be careful to with that snake LaCroix. Yeah. Mm. Why is he helping the prince? Well, Beckett's apolitical, you could say. He's just interested in the truth of our origins. Politics and all that is minor details to him. <laughs> He and the friends want me to find Johansson, the archaeologist. You do what you have to do. Um, I don't want to help him get it open. Kid, if you don't do it, somebody else will. I guess you're right. You're in a good position to make a difference, Mr. Big Shot. A lot of kindreds wondering just which way you'll go. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I want to ask you some questions. Sure thing, kiddo. Fire away. Uh, how about something else? What's on your mind? What's up? Never mind. Alright. You've been playing that pinball game for a long time. You, you... You don't ever win. You're very bad at this. Stop it. Stop playing. Don't... No, you're just gonna lose your money. You just... Yeah, I told you. Uh, what the hell do you want? I want you to have something new to say. <sighs> Heard anything? Oh man. The Kui Jin told me they have an alliance with LaCroix. What? Who said it? Whew! Some Kui Jin right before I killed him. Wow, she is angry! And she is upset! Uh, uh, oh. If this is true, listen, I can't believe even LaCroix's that low. Keep an eye on this. If there's anything I hate more than Tammy's, it's the goddamn Quay Jin. I'll let you know when I have more news. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. I just heard some stuff. 
Alrighty guys, I'm gonna head back over to the Haven, check email, get some blood. Get some blood. <clears throat> and we will finish this video. So I will see you guys there. Honey, I'm home. Hi there. Where are you, Heather? Oh, you're upstairs. Okay, good. Freaking me out. Master? Um, I'll return later. Uh, give me. Thank you. Dum num 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 Okay, there's a little bit there. Alright, let's see. Ah, I do have new emails, so let's see what's going on. The Muse's Muse. Oh! Oh no. Oh, here we go. This is from Vivi. Oh, I do hope the knights have been kind. You were on my mind tonight, and I must admit it was inspiring. I wrote this for you. Death cannot smother love. Death hearts, dead hearts, are not always broken. Plant a kiss on my corpse. Love blossoms. Did you love it? Vivi, you're weird. I don't like it. I'm going to delete it. How about the campaign? Oh, from a friend. The success of a campaign is weighed by the commitment of your opponent. Okay. That's cool. So we've gone from... We've gone from chess references to just kind of generalized oddities. All right, well, that's cool. All right, well, um, that's it for episode 46. So Giovanni, uh, Giovanni are are taken care of. I think it's kind of fun, uh, kind of funny that I actually did not meet any of the core Giovannis. I just kind of went downstairs, found some Quay Jin, and then stole the sarcophagus from them. That is quite amusing. Um, so... Hopefully you guys... Ooh, nice. Put it in the sink. Gotta clean this. I want you to go in the sink. Go in the sink. Go in the sink. Hmm. Apparently, I am not able... Like, physically able to wash my mug. <laughs> hey, it's Heather. She's over here now. Um, but that's it. So, hope you guys are having a great day. Take care. And I will catch you later.